Hey, my friends, welcome back to Law Creations. Just wanted to show you my progress from my custom display. I uh, I actually had some time and constructed the uh, the outside for its wall. I have details to add. I have windows to add, and I just want to give you the overall look of uh, you know just what's in my mind. And I research and I get some ideas off the internet, but in the end, it'll be my uh, my finished result. But just to give you an idea of the scale, that's an acid rain, as you know. Uh, my custom uh, military, my marine infantry. And that's just for scale, just to give you an idea of the scale of the particular piece. I don't do a lot of measuring when it comes to walls and doors and windows. I usually have your figure in hand, and I use that to base my, uh, my scale. So most of the time it works out pretty well. I just eyeball it, and if it looks good, that's what I go with. But you can see the construction of this piece coming together. Uh, you can watch videos. I encourage people to watch videos. Obviously, I make them. I want you to watch them and learn. I've watched hundreds of videos on diorama making, and I find them very helpful. But the best help you can give yourself, the best experience, is sitting down and doing it. Sitting down with a piece of foam and carving it and getting your measurements and carving out your base and then getting a whole bunch of foam together and constructing for yourself, you know, a wall. And you won't be disappointed, guys. It really, it may look intimidating, but it really isn't that difficult. Uh, it might take you some practice. It might take you some experience to do it, but sit down and do it. Uh, don't be afraid of making a mistake. I've made plenty, and I'll continue to make them. But I, 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 I take them as learning experiences. And just like when I made the locker and the hinges, you know, the hinges on that locker was a horror show. It was I had super glue stuck to my fingers. I had hinges stuck to my fingers, and uh, I wasted five dollars on on things I didn't even need. But that's how you learn, guys. Sit down, make yourself a diorama. It enhances your figures really nicely. And that's what I'm here for, to encourage you, to let you know that you can do it. And you'll be surprised on the results. But it just gives you an idea of what I'm going for. Obviously, it's just very early stages. I've got a whole bunch of damage to add. Right there will be a couple windows and obviously debris and it's going to be a very detailed uh 118 scale uh piece larger than what i've done before in the past it'll be magnetized like that one wall there will be collapsible i'll have a couple magnets there and i just wanted to share with you guys i know i'm doing a lot of videos and i really want to try to do a couple videos a day at least a video a day and just to show you my progress here, share some tips with you, and encourage you to uh, sit down and, uh, and give it a shot. I use tacky glue to glue it together. I apply it with a brush. I use that knife there from the doll store just to chip away and, and cut away. Uh, nothing, nothing expensive here at all. So there's some more pieces of foam that I... I used and cut out, and my cat is dying to jump up here, driving me crazy. I got the heater going. It's cold, rainy here. Uh, some more foam board. And this is my new, uh, actually, workstation. Today I uh, had some time. I went to Walmart. I bought that little table there for, uh, for $25. And I went to Ocean State Job Lot, and I purchased another light. So this is my uh, new work area. And I, uh, I got my little camera setup thing. I duct taped it to the. Uh, oh, there he goes. I duct taped it to the, uh, to the shelving there, and I'm able to zoom down. And this cat's gonna get glue all over his fur. He'll deserve it. That's what he gets. But brand new. It's like uh, he's about to go ruin my glue job. But uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you. Now I'm gonna have hair everywhere. Get down. All right, guys. 
Thank you for checking things out and enjoy your night. And uh, stay tuned for more, okay? Bye.